Howdy mates, good morning. Here's my second video log I wanted to make for today. However, this video I want to dedicate towards pond succession. Such as this research pond right here. So, succession overall is the process of where you had a once somewhat aquatic environment that then proceeded into developing all of the hardwood trees that makes up a forest, such as what is all around me. But here provides an interactive sign, or not interactive, an interpretive sign that tells you about the different stages. So like first you have your pioneer stage, which is basically where you have your main components that make up the soil, such as sand or clay. I know it's a little hard to read, so I'm just trying to interpret it. And usually during this pioneer stage, you'll see more plankton and algae during this time. So in other words, it is very aquatic. So the next it leads into the submerge vegetation stage, which is mostly where more vegetation happens along the body of water. So you'll start seeing more cattails. And usually in a way that is kind of a characteristic of a wetland. So then it proceeds to number three, also known as the emergent. Oh yeah, and submerged vegetation stage means there's also a lot of plants underneath the water. And then as it goes into number three, that's where the vegetation will start rising out of the water and start surrounding some of the edge of the pond. And then you'll start seeing like certain creatures such as uh, lung-breathing snails or even gills. Well, specifically gill breathers. So then, it'll eventually, after that particular stage, reading off of here briefly, that's where it will then develop into a marsh. And actually, what was it? Um, one of the places that I visited, what was it? Uh, yesterday actually, point in fact, you can see some marshes in that area. And usually that's where you'll start to see some of the more woody plants, such as eastern cottonwood or even the sycamores. So then it will lead to a temporary pond stage, which in other words means uh, usually the water may dry up a bit more during the summer. And then as it gets into this time of the year, usually the water will freeze. And then last but not least, it leads into forest succession. To be honest, that is technically all around us, what is happening right now. But the purpose of this pond is to just see any changes over time and see if it actually follows this particular pattern. In a way, it's sort of like a, like a long-term experiment, as it were. And then it also d goes to discuss, too, that usually these ponds, such as this one, it actually is extremely organic. Because you figure all the leaves and other various plants will accumulate at the bottom and thus will eventually break down into organic matter or also known as detritus which is yeah dead organic matter and then it's just amazing how basically dead plants and other organisms leads to new creation it's just it's cool it's so neat to me with death comes new life uh, yeah, that's the reason why they're doing this. Haze Arboretum. And actually, so, yeah, that honestly about sums it up, what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, I hope you guys did learn something in the video. 
But yeah, you got to remember the six stages. So pioneer stage, then it leads to the submergent vegetation stage, and then the emergent vegetation stage, and then it goes on to the marsh stage, and then the temporary pond, and then number six is the forest succession. That's just gotta remember succession also starts with an S and six starts with the letter S. So that might be a way to help. So just wanted to give a shout out too to Jenna Lee Braun. She is one of the fellow naturalists here and is a fellow acquaintance of mine. So I hope that Jenna Lee, you see this video. I'm trying to <laughs> help represent your park. So, alrighty. Hope all of you learned something in the video. And Dernie on a Journey is out. Take care, folks.